Hello there, my name is Retro Lucky Talk About Animation, and today we talk about Little Rescue Issue 13, the spin off series of Venonis. Now, we left off basically Sunbless and Cutie got surprised by Junior, who got hypnotized by Mystique. Now, Junior has Cutie on his hand, and Sunbless is tempted to save her. Now, let's get started. Now, Junior responded saying, Do you think you could ruin our queen's plan, Sunblast? Sunblast responded saying, I'm not in the mood right now, Dr. Red. Put Judy down. Junior responded to Sunblast saying, I'm only following Mason's orders. Sunblast frustrated just saying, Stop it. You going to hurt Judy. Sunblast attempted to get close to Junior to break the glass. Junior was wise and closed the door so he did not attack him. Sunblast just wore away and just a screaming saying, remember we are your friends. You're the one who helped us to escape the city Noctis. Junior responded saying, a mistake I would never do again. In this moment, somebody got punched by Junior, flew off all the way half of the whole building. Junior keep modeling saying, I will not let you interrupt our queen's plan. The fighting, everything around them were destroyed. All the marble passing left and right. In one of them, he shooting, shooting now screaming. Sambas reacted just saying, Cutie, no! Junior stopped saying, You better surrender. I'm not afraid to hurt you. But before Junior can actually finish that sentence, before you knew, Sunblast just broke the machine in half, with his chest still full anger what he Junior did to Cutie. At this moment, Junior escaped and Cutie was let go. Sambas just pure rage. Pick up Junior saying, I warn you, I told you if she got hurt, you will pay. Before Sunblast can do actually something to Junior, Cutie automatically woke saying something with the squeak. Sunblast stopped in shock saying, what? Cutie, but he hurt you. Cutie respond with an answer. Sunblast was shocked saying, fine. You're right, I'm also the one who hurts people I care about. Junior angrily responded what happened in the situation saying, How dare you? How I will not let you hurt my... My... My queen? Before Junior realized, all his memories with Cutie came back. Now feeling guilty with everything he did, saying, No, what I have done? Junior turns around, hold Cutie's hand, saying, My love, I'm so sorry. Miss Seed attacks me with some type of chemical, but my heart can see you hurt this way. Forgive me. Sunblast, angry and frustrating, says, Where is Fanombra? Junior responding, pointing in the direction in the mirror, saying, Miss Seed, make us work in the laboratory over there. There you can find Fanombra. Go get her, Sunblast. I take care of Cutie. It's your time. To be a hero, Sunblast. And the comic ends there. Now, I'll be honest with you, I really like this uh, issue because the action was just so great. Now, of course, I can't say much about this issue. It's because it doesn't have any Easter eggs or any reference to anything else. It's just this sort of battle versus Sunblast and Junior. And it was fun, it was interesting because you see the development of Sunblast. Like before he probably just fight just because he's uh, sort of trying to pretend to be a hero. Nowadays every time he has fights he tempted to sort of talk it out first then fight. But it also show you how strong Sunblast really is and how easily he loses temper. But at the same time it's sort of shocking how he easily break the machine if he wanted to. What Cutie being there, being his conscious, being just the calm down, don't let your anger fully control yourself. You see how strong Sunblast can break something. Yeah, I wonder, this is his full potential or just 1% of his power? Of course, I do like the sort of reference of Sir going Super Saiyan with that super anger kind of oozing out of his own eyes. That little touch makes Sunblast more dangerous. It's sort of more like a badass. After that, there's not much to say. Of course, one thing I have to 
probably mention is when security stops him to actually hurt a uh, junior. Some guys was sort of sort of jaded, sort of angry. That angry look when you see him just saying, "Where is Fanumbra?" I like that expression in his face. It's just so hilarious, almost like an angry child doesn't get in his own way. It's hilarious. I don't know why. I felt that image and just him bitter, bitter and sulking. Just was funny to me. I don't know why. Now I got nothing else, nothing else to say. Just one question: How you feel about the issue? You found something interesting or not? Tell me down below. Let me know. I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.